Welcome to the module Data Dimension and in the first lecture of this module we will be understanding how we can perform feature selection and for selecting the features we have different techniques and first of all in this lecture we will be studying how we can use a correlation matrix or you can say a heat map to find out the best features possible to predict the outcome. So for that I have chosen a data global heat index. Okay, so first of all, we'll be loading our libraries, then the data we have, and now let me show you the data. Okay, so you can see, okay, just put it in. Okay, so you can see that this is the particular data that we are given. The outcome is the solar radiation. That is, we have to predict the solar radiation in a particular region based on the time of that particular area the temperature pressure humidity wind direction wind speed all these parameters are given to us so that we can predict the solar radiation in that particular area okay so as you can see in this particular case if we have a higher temperature in a particular area that means in that area we have a higher solar radiation that's why the temperature is raising so much right so these are the kind of correlations that we have to find out using the heat map. So let's move on. First of all, let me just show you the information and the data description. Okay, so that's the data info we have and the data description. Okay, so that's the data description. But now let me show you one thing also. If we have say, so you, you can clearly see that there is no solar radiation in these particular hours. That is before till 0 to 7, we have no solar radiation because at that time it's a night time. Okay. And then also then after 6 p.m. also we have no solar radiation. So we have solar radiation only in the time interval of 8 a.m to 5 pm right so we have to remove this unnecessary data that we have because we cannot be predicting any solar radiation using this data so these are the solar radiation values that we have to predict so we'll be choosing that much data and we'll refine our data so that we can train our models in a best way possible right so now we have to clean our data so what we'll do is we'll remove the data before 6 a.m. and we'll remove the data after 6 p.m. So for that let's name it as clean1 and I'll put the data which is before 6 a.m. in this particular clean1 data. So data and which column I want? I want the R column. Okay. So it should be less than 6. And similarly I'll prepare another data clean2 and what I want? the data should be such that the hours should be greater than 6 p.m. Oh, sorry, it should be 18. Uh, wait a second. Yeah, right. So here we have our data with us now. So what we'll do is we'll drop these two particular data, clean one and clean two from a normal data. So clean one, let me show you clean one dot head. So you can see that we have all the time in which the hours is before 6. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Again 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 for different days and different year, different month. Similarly, we have clean 2 with us. Right. And that's the data after 6 p.m. So 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. And then again 19, 20 and the cycle repeats on for the data intervals we have. Right. And now what we have to do is we have to drop these two data sets clean one and clean two from our main data. Okay. So that's very simple to do. Data equals to data dot. What we have to do is we have to drop the data. So we'll say drop. Which data to drop? First clean one. So we'll say that so we are given these indexes 19, 20, 21. So based on these index value, we'll remove the data from our original data. Right, as simple as that. And then mentioning the axis, so axis will be 0. 
and similarly we'll drop clean to as well okay so now our data is refined so let me show data dot info so data dot head okay so now you can see that we have a refined data with us if I, let me show you the 10 20 okay so you can see that we have a refined data with us we have the values of it this 6 and 7 i have kept it as a margin so that if in a particular region we have a solar radiation then we won't miss that case out otherwise we can remove this also if you want to do so okay and now since our data is clean we have to prepare the input and output values for the uh, training part so you can prepare your input and output data over here but in this lecture i am not going to explain you the training part i am just explaining you how you can select the best features for training your model so but in this case let me prepare it to show you how we can prepare the input and output so for preparing the input what i want i want my data all these parameters right year month day hour dew point all these parameters from year till wind speed but i don't want solar radiation because it would be my output so for that we have to use data dot i lock right and then all the rows but we want only uh, we want all the columns remaining the last one so we'll say 0 to 10 but not 10 and then for y i'll say i lock sorry i lock and i want all rows but i want the last column so minus one means last column so that's how we can prepare x and y so easily and then we can fit our data and we can because in this data you can see that we have different distributions different range so so we have to scale our data accordingly for that we will be using a min max scaler which will scale our data from the range 0 to 1 and it will be a non bias it will be a non bias to train our machine learning models and everything will be perfect that you can do when you are applying your machine learning models but first of all we have prepared this x and y y will remain the same that is output that we have to predict will remain the same but the input that we want to give to our machine learning models should be such that each and every feature should contribute something good so that our machine learning models can learn and to analyze that we'll use a correlation matrix okay so let me name it as correlation matrix okay and i'll say i want to find out the correlation of my data so data dot correlation okay and then i want the top features that we have right so the all the this correlation has different features values so what i'll do is i'll name it as features equals to correlation sorry correlation matrix dot index it will tell you all the features that the correlation matrix has worked upon okay so it has considered all these features and have find out the correlation matrix from that now we'll perform our heat map so which is very important so what i'll say is i'll say data and then i which features i want i want the features that correlation has worked upon and i want correlation for that right and i want the annotations that is the labels with my heat map as well so i'll say true so wait a second okay let me just increase the size for that we'll say plt plot natural we are using and then using the figure we can mention the figure size that we want so it is simple fig size equals to Twenty comma twenty. So here it is. You okay? It's too big. Yeah. Wait a second. Ten. Okay. So you can see that's our data. And if you find the other parameters correlation with solar index, you can clearly see that in case of 
solar radiation the temperature parameter is highly correlated with the maximum percentage of 61 percent and it's a positive so that means you can use this parameter for predicting your solar radiation very well and in case of wind direction the ratio is 17 percent so that means you can clearly predict your solar radiation values and the negative parameters they are not so important so you can remove year month and hour from your data right so this is how we find the correlation and we choose the best feature possible so in the next coming lectures i'll be showing showing the next important techniques to select the features which are important to predict a particular outcome so this was all for this lecture thanks for following and best of luck